sawdust and cornbread. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can stop refilling these little soap pumps as often. Let's get to it. These little built-in soap dispensers are showing up all over the place now. They're convenient when washing your hands, but a pain in the rear when it's time to refill them. The problem is, under the soap pump, there is a small screw-on bottle filled with liquid soap. You're forced to either refill the bottle through a tiny hole in the top, or crawl under the sink and unscrew the bottle, fill it, and screw it back on. Either way, it is a pain and a mess. My goal is to not have to refill the bottle as often. Thanks to my friend Molly at Empty Hammock, I think we found a solution. There is a way to attach your existing soap pump dispenser to a huge bottle of your favorite dish soap. Now I never have to fool with that dripping, nasty bottle again. I just switch it out when the bottle is empty. The best news, it only runs out every four to six months or more. Here's how it works. They have these extension kits with a hose that connects your existing pump to a value size detergent bottle. I found mine on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description. I don't get paid a penny for recommending it. It's worked great for us and I want you to enjoy the benefit. When I bought it, I paid around $16. As of the time of this recording, it's now $12.14, so you get a better deal than I did. Installing this thing is so simple. One end of the hose fits directly on the little stick tube coming off the soap pump. The other end of the hose goes into whatever dish soap bottle you have under the sink. Take off the lid from your dish soap bottle. The kit comes with several sizes of new dish soap bottle lids with a hole for the hose. Choose the lid that fits your bottle and slide the hose through the little hole in top. There's another bit of hose with a little ball thing to keep the hose from pulling up out of the bottle. Push that on the free end of the hose. Now drop the end of the hose with the ball in your detergent bottle and screw on the lid. Done! You never have to battle a slimy, dripping bottle again. I slide my bottle to the very back of my cabinet and still have room for a giant tote full of dog food in front of it. The kit comes with little adhesive clips so you can attach the hose to the inside of your cabinet if you like. I opted not to use them and it seems to stay in place just fine for me. Four to six months or more later, when I run out of dish soap, I get a new giant bottle of dish soap and swap them out. Hooray for this wonderful, inexpensive contraption. I like mine so well that I got one for my mother and installed it for her for Mother's Day. I can't imagine how elderly people manage to crawl under their sinks and refill tiny bottles without this thing. This is another one of those projects that takes just a little time, a little effort, and a little bit of money, and it pays off in the long run. It makes your life a lot easier when it comes to switching out those tiny little soap dispensers, and you have so much more time between having to switch it over. Highly recommend it. Big thanks to Molly over at Empty Hammock for sharing that with us. It's helped me a lot. And I'll be sure to put a link to the one that I used in the description below. It's not sponsored. I don't get any commission. I'm just saying, hey, this worked great for me. You should try it. Thanks so much for joining me, and I'll see you next week. Thank you.